Hey everyone, this is Ross, and today I just thought I'd show you my three new carnivorous plants. So they're in the goldfish fry's old tank, and I'm hoping to keep them in this tank the whole lives unless they grow too big. Um, that plant will probably grow too big, so um, yeah, I might put them in the stick insect tank when I get rid of them, I'm not sure. But I've just got them sitting in some water, because they're actually bog plants, and they like the soil to be moist at all times. So it's recommended you leave them in about a centimetre of water. So yeah, they're just sitting in there, just chilling for now. Until I get the compost for them probably next week or so. But um, I've got three varieties. Uh, this one is called a picture plant. I'm not sure what species, but... Yeah, the idea is that the bugs kind of walk up this part. And then there's some juicy nectar underneath there. And they go to get the nectar, but there's... Um, downward pointing hairs and they point down into the tube so as they go to eat the nectar they the slip and they fall into the tube and this tube is actually full of water and it's got some digestive acids in so they fall to the death so I, I love this plant it looks really nice it doesn't move I'm not really bothered about them moving I just want to feed them insects uh, this one I think is, an, is another variety of picture plant I'm not too sure but um, it's the same principle. The bugs walk up here um, and then they just fall into the water and they drown. So I really like that plant. It looks really nice. I've, be, I've been looking for these for quite a while. But I just went in the B&Q. Uh, it's Home Depot in America and they had lots of different varieties. So I just got my favourites. So that's probably one of my most favourite. Down here I've just got regular Venus flytrap. Um, these plants do actually move, you can touch the little hairs inside and they'll snap shut but it's not recommended because I think each uh, fly trap um, can only close four times and then that leaf dies so I try not to actually stimulate them to close but um, in the store a lot of people have been just triggering it with the fingers so yeah, it's not in a very good condition. Um, there's only three or four traps still open. So I'm just not going to feed it for about a month. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to trigger it with my fingers because I had a Venus fly trap before and I triggered it with my fingers all the time and it went black and died. So I'm only going to feed it about once every few weeks with a small fly. And this one I think can eat frogs when it gets really big. So. I might do a video of that. Um, just small frogs. The frogs around my area, you can get huge ones. Well, ones about that size, the common frog. And you can also get like a tiny variety, the black. And they stay about that big for all their life. So I was thinking about getting a, an acrylic lid for this. Uh, once it's got soil in and everything. And then um, just put an acrylic lid on with a few holes to let air in. And then... Um, just catch a frog somewhere and then put it in see if this eats it. Uh, I know a lot of you will probably think that's quite cruel and it, it is really but uh, I'd just like to see it you know. Um, so yeah that's just my three new carnivorous plants. Uh, they were £4 each so that's about $6. So they were really cheap. And um, so yeah looks nice. Uh, while I was there, I got a bonsai tree as well, so I'll just show you that now. Right, so this is my new bonsai tree. It's very small, but uh, I love it. I've wanted one of these for quite a while. And apparently I've got to completely immerse that part of the plant in water once a week. And I've got to water it every other day quite a lot, so... Apparently these plants are really hard to keep, but... Um, been watching a lot, a lot of YouTube videos on them, and um, I seem to know how to care for them now, so just give it a go. This is the nicest one I had in stock. It's got a nice uh, curved trunk there. So yeah, it looks good. Alright, so if you like this vid, then please leave a nice comment. Please like the vid, and please subscribe. Bye.